it's Francesca, and as you can tell, Leah isn't here, unfortunately. And you're also probably wondering, like, why isn't she here? And, like, why are you doing Leah's room tour if she's not even here? Um, well, I'm going to be doing it for her. And the reason is, well, there's kind of a few reasons. But one of them is Leah is still kind of sick. She had stuck throat, and she's feeling better. But she's still not, you know, 100% ready to film yet. So she gave me the okay to film it for her. And another reason is I'm the one who organized her room and uh, cleaned it for her kind of while she was sick. So I kind of know where everything is, like how everything is organized. So I can probably give it in better detail. She's still not 100% like sure where everything is yet, but she's getting used to it. So in the meantime, I'm just going to do this room tour for her and I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see like the before and the like during, I'm like while I'm you know cleaning it, uh, you can go over to Officially Francesca, which is my channel, and in one of my vlogs, I filmed kind of cleaning her room, so you can see the little before, I guess. So here, I'm just gonna give the little tour, and I think it looks like completely transformed. Um, if you go back to our other videos, like you'll see her room isn't the top notch cleanest and even that like for every video she had to go like two hours of cleaning her room before we could even start filming so just in general it wasn't even like how you see in the videos so now it's like so clean and i hope it stays that way because it took hours but yeah um you guys probably seen our room before so you obviously know this is the entry door so when you walk in you kind of get a nice view of the bed i'm gonna go and like this is kind of the view. I'm just gonna go around. So if we come here, um, we have the dresser. So I think it's honestly in a really cool spot because it's like the wall. It's like, you know, I don't know, but it's like meant for this dresser. So here we have her jewelry stand. Uh, you know, we have some mask headbands, jewelry, scrunchies, you know, everyday things, lip balm here. Um, I organize like her kind of you know, everyday getting ready things, you know, just mascara or anything she does to get ready and some more jewelry and some hairbrushes. I don't know why she needs three, but I guess she does. Um, anyways, here we have some decor. We got, hello, I think this is the light up sign. And we have a bunch of letters. It's in a huge bag, I don't know why. Um, and then these are, so, <laughs> this is so many rings, I don't even, I don't think she would ever wear all of these, but you know, we have it, so I'm not gonna do anything with them because she's very protective over her rings. And we have this. I actually made this at Color Me Mine. Colored it, so now it kind of matches the room. So over here we have her drawers. Um, you know, um, here's more jewelry, scrunchies. Um, yeah, she has like a jewelry organizer, it's pretty cool. And over here, it's more organized under and a sock drawer, I guess. Uh, she's not gonna be happy. Um, but we have, uh, I don't know, she folded her clothes, so this is kind of her doing because I didn't know how she wanted her clothes done. But it's just a bunch of, oh, here's her dance drawer. It's just a bunch of clothes that she, you know, wears on a day to day basis to have easy access to. Um, here's like, I guess, long sleeves and like cardigans and stuff um, and sweaters. And last but not least, we have, I don't even know what this is. Oh, pants, I guess, but it's. I don't know what, ha what happened here, but I don't know, I guess she already used it. Anyways, uh, here we have, I think that was leggings, I don't even know what that was. Um, but over here we have Leah's desk. So this desk, I think it was the biggest transformation because it was like so cluttered. There were books, there was things like everywhere, every, like there was no space to even use it as a desk, you know, because there was barely any writing space. So here we have, um, in her drawers, we have, uh, this is a bunch of pictures, stickers, and this is photography things like her Polaroids and um, phone cases. I guess it's just a bunch of phone and picture stuff and a bunch of color pencils. Um, over here we have um, like her, you know, things to use, you know, like the color pen, like I guess just, you know, supplies for writing or drawing or whatever, like Sharpies. Her computer, her wallet, um, more just office supplies, you know? So, you gotta have easy access to that stuff. And over here, it's just, I guess this is already still packaged things, like school supplies. And here, 
I've kind of tried to make this aesthetic-ish looking. So we have some more decor up here. This pineapple. Uh, this is a Polaroid case. I think this was actually mine, but I like how it looked here. Um, and another little plant. Um, the theme is pretty much pink, if you can't tell. So um, here we have an L. Uh, oh, I did paint this for her. We got it at Hobby Lobby, but I painted it the color she wanted. Uh, we've had that for a long time. Uh, and then a oh, little gush, good gush, a little bit of gush. Never mind, sorry. Uh, here, this is an air, um, an air essential oil diffuser. And then there's scents here. Um, and then this is like to hold more like office supplies, like erasers and like staples or whatever. There's a bunch of um, binder clips in there. So yeah. Over here, we're not going to show the name, but this is like school yearbooks. Um, and over here we have, this is, it's not plugged in, but this is like an, uh, it lights up and it shows the time here, so it's like a clock. And over here we have tissues, a tissue box. She was sick, so she needed that. Um, and over here we have more, oh god, oh, no, everything's falling apart, you guys. This is not supposed to happen. Uh, Okay, we're gonna have to do something about this because it keeps falling. But here we have this like, it's so pretty. It's like glass, glass, I don't know what it is. Um, but it's like, uh, it has a bunch of markers and pens. And over here it's, oh, I guess we have a ruler here or measuring tape here. And over here we also have um, journals and um, some little binder planners, all kinds of good stuff there. And yeah, over here just more, it's like a little candle and her squishy, she insisted on keeping this on her desk. Uh, then we have more pencil bags, because this girl has like a million pencil bags, and just more office supplies. So, and this flip sequin chair, it's like pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I sound out of breath because I'm talking so fast, but I'm gonna try to slow down. Uh, moving on from her desk, uh, well, you guys see the paintings up here, so that's kind of throughout the room. Uh, over here, her nightstand, it was also such a pain to clean out because she had this room since she was seven and there were things in here since she was seven. So when you open the drawers, it was piling up with toys and like, you know, papers and just everything, journals, like anything you could think of was in this, like, <laughs> nightstand. So over here, I put her, she does dance, so she has a bunch of stretching and um, massaging things for her sore muscles. Um, over here, we have, um, just, uh, uh, oh my gosh, supplies, no, uh, remotes for LED lights, and the TV remote was in here, but I don't think it is anymore. Oh, it's sexy TV. Uh, and over here we have fidgets, because she loves fidgets, and games, and stuff like that. So, then we, up here we have this, like, little stitch, oh, why did it? It changes colors? Oh, okay, blue. Uh, we have a stitch light-up thing. Um, this is a multi-charger thing. It charges like a bunch of things at once. This is like a skylight, and over here is a lamp. So that's kind of her nightstand. I keep forgetting the name. Um, over here we have uh, these like floating shelves. They're pretty cool. It looks like they're like overlapping into each other. But there's just a bunch of big plants here, and it looks really cute. So then. We have more cute quotes in these really cute picture frames. And over here, I actually got this for her and my dad installed it and stuff, but it's like a big hammock thing to hold all her squishmallows because they all used to be on her bed and her bed was unusable because they were everywhere. She couldn't make her bed, she couldn't sleep on her bed because she was just in a pile of squishmallows. So I think that works out better. But I mean, it should be coming up a little higher, so maybe we'll end up fixing it, but for now, it's okay like that. Um, and her bed is kind of marble and gray. Over there, it's like a little gray heart with Polaroids. And over here, oh, haha, <laughs> this is um, so crucial here because I don't think her room would look like this if it weren't for this. So the, we used to share a room, and this used to be a pull-out mattress, and Leah used to sleep in this, and then here, oh, here, I'm not gonna pull it out all the way, but it's basically a bunch of storage. So you have art stuff, you know, this is like cables and like headphones. This is like a little VR set. There's art supplies, there's games over there. Um, I'm not, uh, the nightstand is blocking it. 
Um, but we have all her books, like all these books were on her desk, like that's insane. <laughs> so I had it organized, she has like a mini pull out library. And overall, like if she really needs to get to this stuff in the back, she can move the dresser a little, it's not heavy. So yeah, that's kind of the things she's not using like all day, every day, but more of the things she oh, wants to keep, but just doesn't have the room for it anywhere else. So I think that comes in super handy. And yeah, that's basically her bed area. I think it looks super cute. It really matches her personality because she loves stuffed animals. So over here, it's probably her favorite part of the room because it's the bunnies' play pens. So here, right now, she has to keep the bunnies separate. So um, until they get neutered, I think. But yeah, they Harley doesn't always stay in this um, cage. They like switch every other day, I think. So they both have access to the big one and she's free roaming all the time. So they're like, you know, they just have to stay separate for now, but not forever. And then it's like, I think the wood matches her room too, because there's a lot of gray. So I think it's like really matches the aesthetic, but also suits her bunnies. Um, and then here is uh, the chest and it has a lot of clothes in there. and. Um, I think she she still has to like full, like organize the clothes because there's still like a lot of old clothes in there. So I didn't really get to it because I just don't know what she wants to keep and what she wants to donate. But yeah, I'm leaving that to her. And then over here we have her sink. Um, there's really not much here. It's just her everyday, you know, lotions and hand soaps and toothbrush, toothpaste. Over here, bath bombs, I guess. I don't know, I told her to kind of get this situated. I think, yeah, this one's probably more organized, yeah. So it's just, I don't know, I didn't organize this the other day. But yeah, it's just how she's keeping her bathroom and yeah. So, oh, and under her, under her sink, we're not gonna show because she didn't get to it. Yeah, she was sick, so she did as much as she could, but I guess she just couldn't get everything. But what she did do a good job at was her closet. So we have her um, very, I would say this is a Barbie dream house closet, uh, because she's got all her things hung up, um, like her dresses and stuff. And then over here we have like her shoes, kind of a cool rack. Up here we've got all this pink decor. Uh, Oh, what's in here? Oh, this is like bunny cleaning stuff and apparently a ring light. Uh, here we have um, backpacks. This is going to be a clear backpack for when she goes to middle school next year. And this is our dogs. This is Lola and Bella. And we couldn't find Mia, but we had a beagle, I promise. Uh, it just got lost in her probably squishmallows. Um, over here, she keeps her bunny cleaning stuff because she's a good little bunny mama. And here, more clothes. This is a really cool... Um, what's it called? Just drawers for the things. So like pajamas, blankets, ooh. Um, more, I guess, I don't know. I think workout clothes, no. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how she organized it, but here's backpacks. I can tell that. Oh gosh. More backpacks and more backpacks. So, oh, the girl's got a lot of backpacks, I can tell. And more hangers. I'm guessing she might have you know, more clothes here, maybe? Who knows? She's still got some work to do. But for the most part, I'd say it's really completely transformed, you know? It's like so, oh, her hamper's over here. But yeah, it's like such an improvement, and I think she was happy with the result. Like, she hasn't seen her room like this in a while, so I think, you know, having a clean room gets a clean mind, you know? Like, it's like you're just refreshed and always, you know, kind of motivated in a way, like that's how it is for my room, like I cannot stand having my messy room. So if you need to use this for motivation to clean your room, then do it because it's so worth it, no matter how long it takes, it's so worth it. So I really hope she likes it and I'm, I really think she does because she's in here all the time. So if you guys enjoyed this room tour, please give this video a like and subscribe and let us know what you think about this room because I think the comments are actually on on this video because I'm only in it. So. Yeah, I'm not going to get too into the Coppola or whatever, but 
If you want to research it on your own, you can. But for the most part, all you need to know is the comments are on on this video. So let it comment down below and let us know what you think. And thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys, well, we'll probably see you guys in our next video. Love you. Bye.